Do you recommend wearing a belly wrap for diastasis recti? Hello, I'm Becky Choi. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am a postpartum corrective exercise specialist. Today I have a question from this mama on my Instagram. And if you haven't followed me on Instagram, that's where I hang out a lot. I post a lot of educational exercises and mini series on diastasis, motherhood and postpartum. So make sure you follow me. But the question comes from my Instagram comments asking me, do you recommend a belly wrap for diastasis recti? And what what kind of wrap do you recommend? Now, I did make an extensive video here talking about the best postpartum wrap for moms with diastasis stasis especially and you know what are the type of wraps that you should be looking for when buying a wrap because not all wraps are made equal right some are made with cheaper materials and most of the stuff on market are just like one wrap whole thing it just wraps around but it's not made for moms with bulging belly so you would want to be careful when it comes to choosing a wrap and i show you exactly what i meant by that in this video but i wanted to address this uh, questions here and also some of the follow-up question that I get uh, from that video about the postpartum belly wrap for diastasis and it depends. I don't recommend it to everybody in my tummy warrior coaching program, the client who comes to me with diastasis. I don't recommend it to everybody. I do recommend it to certain moms, but it doesn't mean that it's immediately after postpartum or that they are three, six months postpartum. It doesn't matter how far uh, or how close postpartum it is. However, I would say that the sooner you wear a postpartum belly wrap after giving birth, the more effective it could help you and it will speed up the healing of your diastasis. But it doesn't mean even if you are a year postpartum, two years postpartum, you should not be wearing it. It will definitely help and I have definitely recommended uh, to my clients in the Tummy Warrior Coaching Program. So to go back to this question, do you recommend one? It really depends because if you are somebody who is functional, who is able to draw in the belly and there's no really a distensions in your belly where that there's a lot of pressure, core pressure that I'm talking about, uh, pushing the belly out. So you might have diastasis recti, maybe th four fingers gap, three fingers gap, but it doesn't really show because your belly is not bulging right so you do have some strength there but your belly is not it is able to contain the core pressure but it's just very stretched and thin very loose kind of jiggly so the belly wrapping wouldn't really do too much however if you're somebody with a bulging belly uh, that is quite distended making you look like you're five six months pregnant uh, i generally do recommend it for those types of moms who have it, whether you have one or two fingers diastasis or uh, four to five fingers and a fist depth even, right? I do recommend it for those of the moms that have the bulging belly and who is having a hard time managing the core pressure. We all have pressure existing in our core, in our trunk, right? But our back has the spine, right? The spine is in the back protecting your you, right? Making you stand up, sit up. So the back is very tight and it has a spine and your back muscles is there that's why you're feeling some back pain because your front the bulging belly is sort of always hanging in the front a lot of the work comes from your back where you have to arch you have to like use your core muscles to do the work for you bending lifting a baby uh, lifting the car seat reaching up for something so it you have to use your back a lot and the core pressure has to go somewhere, cannot go into the back anymore because it's always working, it's tight. It always go into the front, pushing the belly out, making you look more pregnant than you actually are most of the time. And along with food, along with the stuff that you eat, of course, the diastasis, the core pressure is really what makes you having a distended belly that is protruding. So for those type of moms, uh, I will recommend having a belly wrap that helps you to protect the back, first of all, lifting the pelvic floor up so that we are not putting more pressure down onto the pelvic floor causing prolapse or causing leaking why we don't want that but actually help you to lift the belly up bring the belly inward so that the pressure the core pressure is distributed evenly not just pushing to the front because that's where the weakest part of your core is the front right the diastasis but we wanted to bring it back with the belly wrap and then having that pressure to go to the right go to the left and go to the back so here is one example of my clients who came into me about seven months postpartum 
postpartum after her second baby, she have never really done anything to her diastasis. So you can see that her belly was quite protruding and bulging. And that's what I meant by a bulging belly. And, and she has about, I believe, three to four fingers uh, diastasis recti. Now, I asked her to wear a belly wrap and you can see that difference immediately after wearing the belly wrap for one month, 24, seven hours that I, that's what I suggested to her to wear it all the time, even including sleeping. You can see one month later, her belly got a lot flatter and we haven't even started doing a too much exercises yet at that point. We focused on nutrition and simple, simple like br uh, breathing exercises and some simple core engagement exercises, but you can see that difference in her. She looks really good just with the wearing the belly wrap and that's the magic of bringing the pressure in, distributing the pressure evenly. At the end of one month, she looks amazing already and with some more work and exercises and nutrition after four months and she is looking completely like a different person. So that's where I see that it's going to be very helpful for moms to wear it and how long, how often, what type of wraps I recommend you do watch that video. I would um, explain in full details how to wrap it and showing you the, the exact wrap that I recommend and uh, how to how often and how long. So I hope this is helpful for you. If you have more follow-up questions on this, comment below. If you haven't followed me, follow me on Instagram. I'm always there to chat with you and I will talk to you next time. Bye!